Hey, what's up, guys? Vimpure bringing you another one of these videos. We're gonna be playing Dragon Nest TD. Oh boy, this is gonna be a spicy one, boys. This is gonna be really nice. Uh, it's been a while since I haven't played a Dragon Nest TD, but not only we're gonna be playing that Dragon Nest TD, we're also gonna be playing it in Reforge graphics. Big Pog. Also, um, this is a new version. This is version 2.3. So this game has been updated ever since. So it's it, the only thing is I don't really see um, the kind of updates, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Anyways, I'll go. I'll explain the the way this works. Is there a zoom? Oh, zoom. Let's say 375. That works. Okay. Don't go back. Don't go into freaking space. I'm not. Kind of interesting. Uh, let's go 200. Let's go 190. Let's go 183.45. Oh, that's freaking perfect. Uh, no, that's a little bit too far, actually. No one. No, that's better. Perfect. Uh, so essentially, this game, how it works, pretty straightforward tower defense. Um, you essentially have an egg. And you, as your um, egg defender or your dragon spawn, can build towers to defend against it. So essentially, you want to make sure that the downtime through uh, the units that are kind of spawning that go for your maze until they reach the egg is as long as possible. So you want to make sure that the wolf caller or the towers that you currently have uh, deal as much damage as possible. So a good way to play this, obviously, have this kind of spiral maze where the units kind of go through the maze and actually go around until they reach your center point or your egg. In this case, we're building a, the wolf color and also the lightning tower. This lightning tower does have multi-shot and the wolf color uh, spawns those wolf as you guys saw and they actually... Uh, medium armor, so we should be fine this level, so I guess I should be fine pushing. So this game, uh, there's a couple things you could do. Uh, Naga stole my bike. You could also generate income with your um, your race. So essentially here you can build peons. Everyone seems to be not greedy, but I am the green ma master. So you guys already know I will be pushing. So these uh, peons do generate lumber for you over time. And uh, lumber you can use to get yourself some upgrades. For example, increase the range on your towers. Increase your food capacity. Uh, increase the income at the end of the round, which we will be going for, as you guys already know. Um, and you, yeah, pretty much you just want to be amazing around your base. And at the moment, we do have normal damage, so we should be doing a lot of damage against these uh, turtles. I think so. Seems like we're... Uh, these guys are pretty tanky. I think I might regret what I just did. They will get close to my egg, I think, but we're going to be fine. We do have the nature egg, which we each have like a special ability on it. Nature egg is known to regen regenerate, so it's kind of a good for a new s or starters, I guess, uh, because it's easy to use and it just regenerates HP. So I guess it's pretty easy to uh, let's to play. Some other eggs. Our, oh, I guess next round is lightning, so we are, I guess, let's go for wolf collar, just just make sure we don't go for too much greed. Uh, so the wolf collar, as you see, spawns these wolves, and they hit all the targets within their path. They only um, hit their targets once. Every time the wolf collar deals damage, a wolf is summoned for your egg, run it towards the creeps. The wolf has the same attack damage as a wolf collar, and will attack only once attack. the creep at one time. So essentially they have the same damage as the wolf caller and they attack only once. And they kind of run towards the uh, the enemy. In this case uh, all the enemies spawn in the different taverns or um, in, uh, close around the map. They kind of run through uh, to your base and uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, I guess a straightforward tower defense right? Since these have um, Heavy armor, our magic is going to do quite a bit of damage. At the, mom at the moment, we have pretty much a lot of uh, diversified damage. We do have magic is and normal. So we seem to be not dealing enough damage to fortify. I think it's the most difficult rounds for us at the moment. We seem to be dealing a lot of damage to light and medium and also heavy. 
I've been the only thing is fortified, which we are getting right away. Fortified, I think the way we want to play it is a, either a Demon Tower or a Fire Lord. It, it's magic? What? Wait, I remember it being... Siege. So as you... Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yes. What's the range on this thing? A player's forces are under attack. So we do have this shadow element coming in here. Quite a bit of siege damage, and now we do have a good spread of damage. So hopefully we're going to be fine taking this round out. Someone has been defeated already. Feels kind of unfortunate. Like you see, this guy has picked the fire egg. Fire egg does give bonus damage to your nearby towers. Uh, some other eggs. Oh, this guy will lose soon, it feels like. Nature egg. He does have regeneration on the bright side. Okay, these guys actually reach pretty far, considering. You called. It's next up here. Light armor. Okay. Forces are under attack. Can never really go wrong with wolf, wolf collar, which I think I'm gonna go for. That's definitely one of those units you want to level up. At the moment, we do have quite a bit of food, so we can kind of use extra food here. Okay, so these are pretty close. Is there like any entrances we kind of want to block here? At the moment, the best thing we could really do. Something of this sort. Not too Work much, but complete. it's going to help a little bit, I guess. Work complete. Just increase the downtime on the... I'm just wondering what else could I really do here. I can make... Um, there's, I'm limited to the amount of mazing I could do. Maybe go make them go like... Um, vertically and like kind of mazing okay, around here. I guess I could do. Attack. Obviously, I'm limited to the amount of food that I have. Let's go for double income. A little bit risky, but it might work out. What's next? Magic, so medium. Wolf color, since we did level them up, we should feel free to... Research complete. ...do our upgrades. Uh, what's our next... I guess... Hmm. Just trying to figure out how I kind of want to do this. Uh, to be honest, I could maze here as well, which I didn't really think about, which I think would be the best case scenario. I can maybe make them go up top, back in, then back out. Or maybe go in. Yes, okay, in. Forces are under attack. Like that. Okay, this is much better. I like that. I cannot summon there. So look at the income, if you look at the scoreboard, this is the end game round gold. We're at 16 currently, it seems that everyone has upgraded. Uh, we might want to go for food, mana shield is really important. They seem to be very tanky. There's eight, 35 rounds in total. So let me just go for lightning tower I think here. So as you guys probably noticed, like in gold to D1, to make sure that the units aren't not getting too close to my base. So I might want to go for a bit more damage, I think. Upgrade complete. I cannot summon there. Work complete. Build more burrows. Work complete. So the problem with this map is these maze towers cost four food. Obviously, one f it's a <laughs> four food is a lot. Build more Build more burrows. But what you could do instead is just go for guard towers, and essentially these guard towers only take up one food, so you can maze a lot more. But obviously, they cost gold. So yeah, good thing we leveled up the um, lightning tower. Lightning tower is really powerful. As you guys probably noticed, might want to go for end. Should we go for one more peon? Maybe we should. 
Seems a little bit greedy, but I think greed is good. Oh, we need more bros. Go for guard towers. A player's forces are under attack. What's next? It depends what's next. Fortified. Let's go for peons. Fortified. We might want to go for this guy upgraded then. That's what our players are doing. I don't. I kind of don't like this maze. This guy should block off this here. Block off this and put a, put his egg here and then make them go inside back in. That was one of the maze types I did before. If you guys haven't seen the other videos of me kind of playing this map, definitely recommend going to see those before watching this one. Go for more guard towers. I guess we can build. Upgrade complete. Like so. Work complete. So maybe them going in up until here, I guess. More gold is required. That should be pretty good if I remember correctly. So make them go over here, then cut up here vertically this way. Make sure that we have space here though. So maybe cut over here, we'll see. I'm gonna use a tower actually. Oh, look at the damage. See, the damage is huge! Nice. This one skills, seems to scale quite a bit. Don't forget this is single target, this one is multi shot, this is why. Have our tires hotkeyed in case we have to focus fire. But apart from that, it seems that we're in a decent spot here. Yes, awesome. Someone is dead. Feels unfortunate. Could go for an extra peon. It seems very greedy, but I think we're at least going to go for end game round gold. Oh, I'm at 36 income. Ooh. Spicy. Research complete. 189, that's very expensive. Could go for this. Let's go for one more peon. Like, I guess I could go for two. It's super greedy, but I think it, I could pull it off. Okay, let's go for only one. Let's not be too greedy here. Build more burrows. Ready to work. Upgrade complete. Yeah, this wouldn't oh, oh, this would work. Are under attack. So one more tower, and then we have a here, and we build. Man, Teal died. So let's say we built... I guess we could sell, but I can't really afford to lose too much here, huh? My talents are yours. I hope this wasn't the end of me. I could also increase the range, which would, would, which would help, I guess. With my tires, but I think that's later on. I need more peons. Oh, we're super greedy. It's insane. What's next here? Medium armor. So I guess we go for a wolf collar. So we build one more, then we have we need one space, which would be this. So one over here, one over here. One over here. I think that's fine. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Amazing. So let's get this wolf collar. Oh, we're missing one gold. Unfortunate. Actually, let's just go for Lightning Tower. We're going to be fine. Upgrade complete. Work complete. Perfect. Work complete. Really good. So, as you guys probably noticed, there is space over here. So, we're going to bring them back over here all the way. Make them go up, I guess. And then back in. Since we're going to increase the range of our tires, you can see the display range is going to increase significantly, so the wolves are pretty much going to hit the whole maze. Do you have increased damage, which is good. We could go for endgame round. This is expensive, but it's worth it. Let's go before the round ends. Okay. So what's next? Heavy. So we did upgrade this, so we're in a decent spot. Go for an extra peon. You guys know I have to go for the greed. Pretty much can't help myself at the moment. Upgrade 
upgrade complete. Ready to work. Uh, it feels like I'm investing a little bit too much in the defenses. Maybe I shouldn't be going this route, actually. Maybe I should be focusing, because these do a bit of damage. A lot of pierce damage, so... I mean, all of this combined, when you think of it, how much is this? 3, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. 11 times, let's say, 10. That's 100, da 100 damage per second, which is good, considering these guys have 400 HP. Which isn't too bad. I want to go for extra range, huh? This upgrade has six levels. Yeah, they're taking a bit of damage. Obviously, these have heavy armor, so they're taking significant. Oh, only ten percent less. Really? It's not. It's not like they're. The damage is going to waste, right? Let's see what's next here. Fortified, so let's go for our trusty element or shadow element tower, and we should be in a pretty good spot holding next round. So I guess we could go for extra greed. How many of these do we have currently? Uh, six. So we're gonna have seven. I think, if I remember correctly, going for about ten is enough for our end end round gold level. We're currently at 52 extra gold, which is huge. Gives us the ability to push more, which is nice. Mr. Rock incoming. If I remember, massing these lightning tires was a very good idea. Definitely want to finish my maze. Quick sip of coffee, you guys already know. Alright, anything else? We have Lightning Tower, uh, Wolf Color. To be honest, the best thing at the moment is just going for greed. <laughs> What's next here? Light. Is there something amiss? Potentially, I think we should go for uh, Wolf Color. We're gonna have enough. There we go. One gold. We're left with one gold. We can also increase this, upgrade your eggs ability. That gives 40% chance to avoid an attack, so... Not too bad for 250 wood. The thing is, we our towers are do, do plenty damage for us to play this a little bit more greedy, I would say. Yes. I wish there was a way to upgrade the amount of wood we can get gather. But Yeah, it's just more peons. We need more Since we just upgraded Wolf Collar, we should be just fine going for Greed next. I think this is max upgrade if I remember correctly, so yeah, Ready let's actually go for... More gold is required. Ah, we're missing a bit of gold. Upgrade complete. Okay, six, seven, eight. Not too bad. Oh, animal cage. Interesting. Does this work? Oh, yes, it does. Perfect. Very good. Work complete. Go for one more peon. I'm going so heavy on greed, guys, and I do apologize for the people that are like, "Vimp, this is gonna cost you the game." <laughs> I know it will, but you guys know some of the people in the comments want me to go for the greed. Shoutouts to the people that want me to go for greed. <laughs> build more burrow. Vim greed, huh? Build more burrow. So I guess I could build to the left here, maybe even go up one. Or just make them go up here, I think would be the best. Or I think maybe back. Maybe up and back. Because I want these tires to do. Oh, this is a damage. This is the bonus wave. I forgot. So, bonus wave, guys, happens every 10 rounds, I think. What round are we on currently? I think a 10 or something like that. So, essentially, it tests the amount of damage you deal to all of these structures. Essentially, testing uh, which maze is the best. And uh, you'll see the 
damage increasing at the moment. This is the amount of damage I've dealt to these units. If I'm victorious, I do get, her, get myself an extra egg ability. It seems like this guy might be doing a bit more damage. Oh yeah, he's going to be doing much more damage, I feel. Maybe? Let's see. Oh, it's going to be so close. Oh, Vimp is victorious! Hey, So I think I'm going to go for egg or fire. Increase damage. Is there something so look at this. Extra damage. Tomaj. And also what's fun about... Oh, I can upgrade it. Feels bad. Maybe slow would have been a little bit better. But damage you can never really go wrong with. Also, I do, did forget that I need to build this tower. Increases nearby tires attack speeds. And we're going to be doing the same setup as in Hellhalt. So essentially to optimize its endurance aura. Since it has very low range. Uh, let's wait. Oh my god, boys. We forgot about endgame round. Gold. How could we forget? Could also upgrade the food cap. But I'd rather go for endgame round. Gold. We're at 60 currently. These have heal or something? Research complete. I figure now we're gonna go with a little bit less go greed and go for more, more range and like defensive type of. Uh, at least when it comes to using our wood currency, we're gonna try our best to use it for more. A mana shield and range so at least benefit our army. Research Let's see what's next complete. here. Heavy. I've been thinking. We can upgrade this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Freedom. Freedom. Here comes the Yetis. 100 damage. Multi shot. Can't really ask for better. Ah, we need burrows. Feels bad. Get a card tower here, I guess. Perfect. Let's build it right away. Get it over with. This does chaos damage. So the range of its attack is this, and the range of its aura is this. So that's why I'm building in this specific pattern, or the honeycomb, as I like to call it. Um. Go for mana shield or food. Extra food wouldn't be too bad. Ten food limit. Go for food. How many peons we have? Doing? Not enough. Research complete. Work complete. Hmm. I guess something of this sort. I'm not even sure at this point. It doesn't really matter. Uh. Work complete. Hmm. End game round gold, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Let's go for mana shield. Stop being too greedy. I'm gonna go for also increased range. Go for a couple peons. These are fortified. Get yourself the amethyst tower increased. Increased attack rate by 3% friendly towers within 175 range. Now it goes up to 4%. Ugh, still pretty bad, I would say, but eh, whatever. How many do we have at the moment? Uh, 9, 10. We could go for 12. I think 12 is going to be enough. Mm -hmm. Two more and that's it. We're not pushing more, I promise. Siege, it's light armor next. My talents are yours. Ready to work. Go for Siege and Amethyst, I think. Since this is light, we will benefit from going for more guard towers, so let's do that.
these are dangerously getting close, it feels like. Good thing we have a lot of these ga guard tires which are helping with this round. Go for one more range. Look at the range now, I'll show you guys. It has increased quite a bit. Hopefully it reaches this point. And ideally we want it to reach like over here as well, right? Research complete. Yeah, look at the range at this. Holy cow. Is there something amiss? Yeah, look at this. That's insane. That's so good. Okay. Um go for how many APNs we have at the moment? Twelve. Yeah, that's that's enough guys. Let's not go for too much. I, I wanna be I wanna make sure that I'm holding here. I've been thinking to ten. Uh oh. How do I spend my gold, guys? I think I go for this and this. I don't know. Gold is, required. is there something amiss? Upgrade complete. He went for animal cage, which is pretty good. It like bleeds targets. Druid has chaos damage. Oh wow. If I remember these are pretty difficult to go for. Increase the range during the round, which I think is going to be the best option for me at least, for now. Aminus tower upgraded. Get that chaos damage. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. Activate the shield. We might want to go for this. We'll see. Just an increased focus would be good. Ah, we're good. Still, these went got a little bit closer than I would expect it, to be honest, so we should start playing a little bit more cautiously, I would say. My talents are yours. Heavy. Go for our lightning tower. 6% attack rate complete. increase, not too bad. We do have quite a bit of food, so let's use it. Work complete. Work complete. So can de they can definitely pass here. Like so. So they go over here, they Work pass. Complete. There's like free space here, but it, there's not much I could do. I can make them go back in and out. I don't know. Something of this sort. Not too bad. You guys seen worse mazes, right? Let's get range. Oh no! GG's to this guy. He's not greedy enough, I would say. Next, fortified. You know who to call. The only problem at the moment, as in, as we're, like we're playing random farm TD, if there's multiple people, we actually wait until the uh, round is ended. So Red, since he was taking a little bit more time to kind of clear his wave, I had the advantage of having a little bit extra time. In this case, we don't. Extra range. These are getting pretty far, even though I have a lot of freaking siege. I need to get this wolf collar upgraded ASAP. Holy, these are getting a little bit too far. Uh, 255, are you kidding me right now? Light armor. I want this wolf collar pretty bad. I guess we just go for lightning. Upgrade Wait, complete. I can just build here. Works. More gold is required. 
So they go in, go out, and make them kind of go in here and then We're out like complete. this would be the best, I think. Even go for end game round gold. Oh wait, I could ju just build with this. I can't anymore since they're right here. 86 end game round goal, which isn't too bad. The pierce damage from our guard towers are gonna take care of it. Uh, just wait for wolf color, I think, which I should have done a long time ago. Next, medium. Yes, <laughs> we're one gold off. Siege damage, but medium armor, since now we have wolf color, max level, amazing. Max level nice. lightning, max level wolf. Knock max level elemental tower, this seems... Uh, okay, this is gonna be last, last level, though. Quite a bit of damage. More burrows, really? Okay, let's go for extra food because we're gonna need to start mazing a little bit more. Build more burrows. Research complete. Uh, can we build our tower like this? Ah, we can't. Freaking trees in the way. That's pretty much the best way we could do. Potentially put these ones back a little bit. Work complete. Work complete. Don't think of this work wouldn't be too bad. There we go. Genius! Work complete. medium armor get this amethyst upgraded if we can I don't know if that's gonna be enough though uh, I maybe should be keeping my wood let's keep my wood and get this thing so now we have the evasion 40%, which isn't too bad. These are getting dangerously close, so good thing I did cancel the greed. These are, we're gonna start, we're gonna lose some HP here. Okay, good, oh, the miss, look at the miss. Whew. Good investment. What do we want? My talents are yours. This is fortified, isn't it? Are they invisible? Oh, it's the damage chest. Okay, whatever. We need more lumber. We need more lumber. We need more lumber. So max level, this is gonna be max level next, I think. 185. How much is increased? It's gonna be 12% increase, which isn't too bad. But it's just, I'm not even sure. I guess it's worth the gold. Sure. So it's 35 waves. We still have 50 waves to go. So buckle up. Hopefully you guys have some snacks. And ready to listen to this episode. 96. Now we're going to have 100 gold extra per wave. We're also going to have one extra egg element. So which I think we're going to go with slow. Only problem is we can't even upgrade the commander to level two, which would have been nice. We're doing quite a bit of damage. Food. Vim gaming dealt the most damage. I'm kind of playing alone, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see here. Slow aura, I guess. Slow, yeah. Slow aura. Nice. 800 range, so it's pretty much all around. 
Decrease by 12%. Ugh, it's okay. More gold is required. Okay, that at this point, if I, even if I tr I could keep... Oh, it's max food. I'm at 70. Wait, this is max food. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. Work complete. Work complete. Work complete. Yeah, I don't know. I could make, make them go like all around. What's the range I want to see? Display range? Oh my god, look at this. This is huge. Massive range. Is there something in this? Pretty big range. Almost covering everything on this side of the map. Just increase our income. Could go for peons, but I think we need to invest in defense as much as possible. I want to get Amethyst, but I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe I should be getting like an extra tower. I don't remember which towers are good. Necromancer. Necromancer was pretty good as well. Oh wow, we're going to be taking quite a bit of damage here. Uh, I don't think we're going to die, but we're going to take a lot. A lot of heat. Like, even a second lightning tower wouldn't be too bad. Just because of the... Uh, the I, I guess I'm going to go for it. If I remember correctly, like, massing this isn't too bad of an idea. Okay. Work complete. And it's going to be especially really good against heavy rounds. Magic is good against light. It's pretty much not good against fortified, but if we have like a lot of like multi shots. I guess maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe chaos would have been a better idea. Better investment of my money, huh? Yeah, maybe I effed up there because I need 100% of all of the. Man, these are freaking tanky trees. What the hell? Might be over, boys. Team? Holy cow! Are yours. Medium armor. Oh, we take a lot. Of Strength. Could go for Druid or Necromancer was pretty good. Kind of am committed too much for. I guess I don't have a choice. Let's go for it. I need Chaos. My talents are yours. Work complete. I do not think. So Necromancer ha Tower has the ability to build extra, okay. Like get these summons, which is nice. They just obviously, obviously scale. Okay. Like do, I can't really afford to push the, the, the single fact that they're actually super close to my, no, oh, I'm probably dead here. No! What did I do wrong there? I'm just trying to figure out. Like, what was what <laughs> went wrong? <laughs> no, man. I guess round 29. That wasn't too bad. I'm like actually what six levels off. That's not too bad. I guess next time we'll try to beat it. Especially the fact that I never played this newer version. So I guess this was a decent showcase. But I'm not too sure which towers would have been better. Maybe I would have need like some chaos. Ta I think the chaos damage would have been better. Man, I just see so many comments at the moment just be like, Yo, Vimp, you should have gotten this tower, Vimp, you should have gotten this tower, it's so much better. How could you do this? Or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do apologize, guys. Uh, I guess we'll know for next time. At least give me some tips down in the comments. Let me know which towers I should have, or which combination, or I guess, um, of towers would have been optimal for this map or this situation. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video nonetheless. Feels like it was decent showcase of Dragon Nest TD. If you guys want to see more of this in the future, let me know down in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day or evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.
You shall be king.